Hello everyone, welcome to Raise Aerospace and X-Plane 12. Recently, any builds had their May sale, and you can see what's happened. I purchased the Beluga, and I already had the A300-600 for X-Plane 11, and I got the update for that for X-Plane 12. It is a open beta update for that, as well as for the Beluga, so we will be testing it. We do not know exactly how well this is going to go. Presumably it's going to go okay, but we will see. Uh, but uh, here we are with the Beluga, and it is cold and dark, uh, except we have external power. And I want to try out this loader. Any builds also uh, made other planes that have good loaders, so I want to see how this one works. But uh, I think I've only tried that out in Flight Sim, so we will try that out here. So this is the Ground Ops page here, and Load Sheet. Uh, Airbus fuselage, so we can ground services. Okay, so I have to click things again to get rid of them, or okay, yeah. Loader, request loader, Airbus fuselage. It's not much, I guess we can. All right, so let's see what's happening. Oh, I've got this other plane in my way, and that Air New Zealand thing isn't particularly sharp. But there is a uh, Airbus fuselage, a uh, smaller Airbus fuselage, and our top is opening. We saw a similar thing with the AN225 in Microsoft Flight Sim. I did a video on that. But I don't think there's any way to speed this one up particularly yet that we can see it from this view. Now. I haven't started up an Airbus in a while. Uh, I'm much more familiar with uh, the Boeing 737, partly thanks to the Zebo 737 for x 11. And uh, this has a before start checklist, after start, before takeoff, after takeoff, securing the aircraft. They have everything except for actually starting it. <laughs> so, I hope that'll be alright. Let me see if I can figure this out. Oh, well, that's the battery. I'll just get the batteries on. That's always a good thing. External power is available. External power is on. Start. Starter on for the APU. I don't know. It's uh, okay. It's starting. Excel. All right. External power off. I think we're running on the APU now. Okay. So I'll just go to ground ops here, ground services, and take off the external power there. Let's see, how's loading going? Very detailed, alright. Uh, I forget what setting I had the IRS on. Let's see, settings, I have it on instance, so... I don't know, did they stop trying to load that thing? Because it's not moving much. Okay, well, I guess I have to click load here. Now it'll load it. Nope, other sounds. There it goes. Pretty small fuselage for our bay, but oh well. Okay, in it goes. Okay, I think I've figured out how to get the engine on. I wouldn't recommend actually uh, mimicking my process. Um, okay, generator two. We don't. I don't think we have a galley, so that should be fine. All right. So with that, we can turn off the APU. Okay, well, having the engines on, let me try the panel states thing. Let's say ready for takeoff now. No. I don't know what that's changed. Oh, my probe heat is off now. I turned that on. Doesn't seem very ready for takeoff. But these two displays are still not active. It says align mode. But it was supposed to be quick or instant align, so I don't know how long it's going to take. Alright, 
Well, let's see. We seem to be okay. We can lower flaps. Okay, I think we'll take the wheel chocks off and see how we can do here. I asked it for a panel state that was ready for takeoff. Pitch trim in op. Pitch trim. They, uh, they flip back down. Are they supposed to flip back down? Hold on. Okay, maybe, maybe it's okay now. Well, fine. Auto throttle is off. Well, if that's our only problem, we're in luck. It looks like we've got our displays. Alright. Let's see if we can move. Oh god. Uh, pretty sure the lines here are not correct on the taxiway, I mean. You really need to counter steer a lot with it. Has a formidable sound. I think I have, uh, yeah, XP realistic is off, there's its normal sounds, not uh, XP realistic doing anything. We're at Newark International. Here we go. Okay, gear up. And gear coming up. Not a trivial thing with uh, planes from X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12, mind you. Obviously, as far as planes go, this is one that I'd rather have in X-Plane than in Flight Sim. It's not really a sightseeing sort of plane at all. And you really want to have the adverse dynamics of it really really modeled well and I'll, I'll trust that any builds have done that I don't imagine the flight envelope for this is particularly wide I feel like I want to fly over Manhattan or something so let's try that I'll probably land at JFK I just want to see that this holds the altitude properly and everything. Alright, we're holding below 250 knots, 3,200 feet. So autopilot seems to be working fine. We have some building, buildings at New York, oh well at Manhattan, but it's not quite the full skyline from this distance. Buildings are popping up though. Okay, now Manhattan is looking much better. Yes, the Beluga takes Manhattan. On sale it was only about 10 bucks. So, you know, uh, well worth it. I probably would not have gotten it at full price. So, yeah, and these kinds of sales seem to be fairly regular with any builds. 
I had gotten the A300S600 regular style at about the same price. Ah, uh, the Autogen. What can we say about the Autogen? Endless, <laughs> very similar Autogen. Oh well, anyway. But this is not a sightseeing plane anyway. I will try to land this at JFK and see if I survive. Oh, this is the first time I'm uh, checking out this glide slope cross section feature of the map. I haven't really used that before. And we're coming around. Okay. Here we go. We are looking terrain forward to ahead. the terrain. terrain Wonder what triggers the... Okay, we're high terrain because the ahead. terrain ahead thing... The terrain avoidance thing was Same annoying rate. me. I don't know Same how to turn that ahead. off. smoothly as I would have liked to be. Oh gosh, this thing... Okay, the ground handling is really ooh, scary sometimes. Okay, but... Alright. We're down. Oh, don't tip over. Oh gosh. Okay, I think I'll just park here. And yeah, uh, the hardest thing about this is the ground handling. Otherwise, uh, it certainly feels hefty. No problem with that. And I imagine there are particular adverse dynamics that we would have to watch out for if I really spend a lot of time with it. But there you have it, the Airbus Beluga by any builds. And uh, it'll probably be on sale again, but I think this sale will be over by the time I post this video. But with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.